Oak Bay, Gordon Head. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. I move that a bill entitled Rideshare Enabling Act 2016, of which notice has been given in my name, be introduced and read a first time now. Honourable members, you've heard the question. All those in favour? Opposed? Motion is carried. Please proceed. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. I'm pleased to be introducing a bill entitled the Rideshare Enabling Act 2016. Ridesharing is a key component of the new and emerging creative economy in British Columbia. While numerous jurisdictions around the world have passed legislation to allow for the introduction of rideshare technology in their markets, British Columbia is quickly falling behind. In fact, Honourable Speaker, Vancouver is now the largest city in North America without an operating rideshare company such as Lyft or Uber. Legislation is needed to provide provincial standards that must be followed for any ridesharing program to exist in our province. The Rideshare Enabling Act 2016 details the process by which a transport network company can operate in British Columbia. It builds upon best practices in North America to outline the required driver and vehicle records to be provided by rideshare drivers. It further details the required rideshare driver background check and rideshare vehicle inspection and insurance requirements. Honourable Speaker, in January of this year, 22 CEOs and founders of key BC-based tech companies signed and released an open letter, and the letter stated, we are compelled to express our concern regarding the province, provincial government's long-standing inaction on ride-sharing regulation in BC and how we now find ourselves falling behind the rest of the world. Honourable Speaker, this bill is aimed at ensuring that British Columbians remain at the forefront of innovation in the technology sector. I move that the bill be placed on the orders of the day for second reading at the next sitting of the House after today.